Hello, and welcome to this episode of Pump House Tavern. I'm your host, Ian. The next production in the Pump House Players 46th season is a fantastic show called Puffs. It's a great show for all you mugborns out there. Personally, I'm in House Braves, <laughs> but enough about me. The cocktail for Puffs is the adult butter beverage. Thank you to Cocktail Chemistry for the inspiration for this cocktail. To make this drink, you're going to need the following. Some ale, some dark rum, and some spiced butter syrup. What a spiced butter syrup, you ask? Well, let's make some. Into a saucepan, you'll add 100 grams of water, five allspice berries, crushed, one cinnamon stick, some fresh grated nutmeg, one clove. Simmer for five minutes and then strain out the spices. This will give you some spiced water. To that, add 1.4 grams of gum arabic, which is an emulsifier made from tree sap. You can easily find it on the internet. Mix that together. Why do we need an emulsifier, you ask? Because this butter beverage has butter in it, and fat and water don't naturally mix. You need an emulsifier to force them to mix into an emulsion. To that, add 0.2 grams of xanthan gum, which is a stabilizer that helps protect the emulsion from separating. Also easily found on the internet. Mix that together. To that, add 75 grams of melted, unsalted butter. Mix that together. And finally, to that, add 100 grams of granulated sugar. Mix that together. Then bottle it and store it in the refrigerator. It should keep for a few weeks, if it lasts that long. To build the drink, grab a beer glass in the 13.5 ounce range. Add one ounce or 30 mils of the spiced butter syrup. Add one ounce or 30 mils of the dark rum. Stir gently to incorporate, and then top with the ale. <laughs> Look at all the nucleation points. And here is the adult butter beverage. Mm. That is mighty tasty. Should satisfy all of you braves, snakes, smarts, and puffs out there. If you don't want to make this, you can always pick some up at Pig's Mead. All right, moving on. If you love Les Mis as much as I do, you know there's only one drink that embodies all that this show is. To make this drink, you're going to need the following. Some red wine, preferably from France, and some tears. If you don't have any tears, you can just watch Les Mis and harvest some. Thick British accents in a French musical gets me every time. Once you have your saline solution, it's time to build the drink. Grab a wine glass and pour in the volume of wine you desire. Maybe give yourself a little more so that the wine of friendship never runs dry. To that, add a few drops of your tears. Once you have cried into your wine, make sure you steal some bread before you go and watch Les Mis. And this is your Les Mis inspired drink. Until next time, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, or subscribe. For more information on the Pump House Players, visit pumphouseplayers.com or find us on Facebook.